Hello everybody, Adam Mopley here, and today I'm going to show you guys what the best strategy is on starting off. Um, I picked Australia. Now, the countries, the best countries to pick would be Australia, India, uh, Iran, Turkey, Germany, France, let's see, Ethiopia, United States, obviously, Mexico or Canada. Brazil, any country basically with uh, eight cities or more, you're increasing your production. Now, if we come over here back to Australia, uh, what I do suggest to do with any nation you have is uh, go ahead and highlight your your cities and you're going to want to build army base level ones. OK, once you build, once you're done building those, which will they'll basically on a four time server, they'll be done in about 30 seconds so basically the reason why you want to build these army bases all up front in all of your cities um is because you'll be able to mobilize infantry in all of your homeland cities all at once so if you were to ever get attacked you would be able to create that backup see if i wanted to create infantry right now i would be able to create seven right off the bat and send them to where I need them. Right off the bat, I would research infantry as well as corvettes. Once you research that infantry and corvette, basically pump out a couple of corvettes. Pump out, pump out, pump out. Hey, stop! That's good! So what we're going to do here too is we're going to build a level 2 naval base. It's going to take about two real hours. By the time that is over, I can start putting these guys in queue. And... I'll basically have a couple of them so by the time i get over here i'll be able to block off his ports and entries and exits and go from there basically the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start building arm industries um once you're done building arm industries you're going to want to build recruiting offices these recruiting offices reduces the mobilization time of all military units units and boost manpower production in a city manpower generation is increased by five percent uh, that means you'll have more manpower to create more units your mobilization speed is increased by 10. when you get to level five it's increased by a hundred percent so basically that would mean this infantry usually takes almost almost six hours to create in a four time server with level five recruiting office it would take uh two hours one hour at most to build seven infantry and that doesn't include uh, annex cities. What I am thinking about doing is sending this third recon and this infantry unit. We can most definitely take his capital. Send both of them there though. They'll, they'll join up here and basically we could take all of this land. I do suggest finding any land portions like this and creating a local industry right off the bat. It doesn't look like I spawned with any oil one but I will be good on supplies. Alrighty everybody it's day two now. I basically got my level two naval bases and my level two arm industry is done uh, i also put on the queue for uh, corvettes to be made in each one of my naval cities and now i have six corvettes all around my city let's see i actually did not end up invading new zealand as he joined my coalition that's good there i also tagged along with indonesia and i'm looking at a little problem here because russia is starting to take over japan and seriously starting to take over japan uh, he did post a article in the Khan news saying that he's going to invade another person if they speak out against him and i so happen to speak out against him to see where this is gonna go i do believe russia is using gold because he's got level twos in almost all of his cities and he's already taken kazakhstan and parts of europe so we'll see how that goes other than that yeah i mean that's the little update there I got the Corvettes. Now I could do coastal support for all my cities. Uh, this city is going to be a little bit unguarded until the infantry and the recon vehicle get created because I have this transport convoy going to Madagascar. So I can create a staging point here for Africa. Well, thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you one around day four, day five for another update. Okay, it's day four now. It's been literally 24 hours and it's already day four now. Um, what I've gotten built is two 
corvettes in each one of my naval cities and as well as one extra infantry in all of my naval cities or i'm sorry not in not uh, infantry uh recon vehicle one extra recon vehicle in all of my cities not sure what new zealand is doing i might actually just go ahead and kick him out of the coalition it would have been smart to just invade him because he's kind of inactive so as soon as i do that i'll take over his island i do have level three arm industries built i have recruiting offices i'm going to try to get underground bunkers in all of my cities soon after my level two army base is complete building i did build military hospitals i built an airport and i moved my capital to alice springs the reason why i moved it to alice springs is because there's only three entry points to the city and i'll be able to defend it pretty easily if they were to attack me from all of these cities i would need a place where i could defend defeat and take back over I did enter into Madagascar. I'm going to kill this unit and take the island of Madagascar. Indonesia is moving into Kenya because Kenya, for some reason, started... He's not disembarking, but he put two units here for some random reason. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing there. Thailand is tagging along. I just invited him to the coalition or, well, accepted him. This is, this is, this is what happened to Russia, by the way. Russia was banned from the game because he had he was he was double uh double nationing so he had one of his accounts on russia and one of his accounts on china and that's against the rules of the game so uh the whole game literally reported him including me and he was banned where is it right here makar banned and then this is his second account, Makar. Uh, the reason why I suspected that he was cheating is because he told me I just applied to the coalition, blah, blah, blah. He said, I know you reached out to China. I think you would be in better coalition with me. And I'm like, how do you know I reached out to China? You know, he doesn't have any agents or anything like that. Um, and then then China messaged me and say, may I recommend Russia as your coalition partner? Uh, he said, Russia will reach out to you. And then he's like, if you look at the username, you will understand it. That's what got me there. So I made an article and I basically told everyone like, look, this guy has an account in Russia and he's got an account in China and he's just cheating. That's that's blatant cheating because you can take a lot of advantage doing that. France declared war on Indonesia. I don't know why, but we're going to see what happens there. I'm just building up for now. I'm going to build up my units. I'm not going to attack anybody. I'm going to have my morale go up, my population go up, and I'm basically going to play the defensive until I have to ultimately start attacking people. Uh, damn. Ethiopia is very, very active. He is just taking everybody. He's taking Egypt. He's taking Saudi Arabia. He's got a piece of Yemen. Uh, where else was he? He did take... Um, Let's see where did he go I forgot what portion he's taking but he is in a lot of countries right now yeah Spain is moving there France is moving into Austria yeah we're gonna see where this goes that's the update day four hopefully by day 10 I'll have uh, destroyers, cruisers, or an aircraft carrier with some naval strike bombers uh, to more defend my nation. If you liked the video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, uh, and let me know what you want to see. If you guys want to see any other games played, anything like that, I'll be more than happy to test those games out and play them. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.